and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh and I'm reviewing the SPY and guess what? It's doing exactly as I predicted this morning when I did the review pre-market. In fact, it looks even better. Why? Because it's 1140. It's 1140. The market is nowhere near even closing today. The market doesn't close till four o'clock. <laughs> we have four hours and 20 minutes. Four hours and 19 minutes and some seconds. Do you want to be or very, very specific? Anyways, let's take a look at it. So we held the gap up today in the market. We're doing a nice sandwich here and we are flattening out these people and the shorts are going to get squeezed. And this is what I saw this morning in the gap. I saw it at 5 a.m. If I could have taken a trade at 5 a.m. I would have, <laughs> but the reality is that we're gonna just keep running. I mean, we are gonna run now. So every area here is a different area that more people will be stopped out of shorts that are short the market and also buying is going to come in and actually that's what's making this here right now i got to be honest with you this is buying so the move that i predicted would happen is going to continue to play out today was the day though the really the turnaround day for the market today is it today is the stuff the dreams are made of because to be honest with you when i went to bed last night and i said this in the video this morning and i saw the way they'd be closed yesterday i thought that was very unusual and i was prepared to get up this morning and see a gap down I was fully prepared for the market to gap down today, and I thought if we gap down today, that's it. We're toast. We're over. We'll break. Everything will fall off the planet, but that didn't happen. And when I got up this morning and saw this gap, I thought, oh, my Lanta. We're going to run today. We're going to power trend all day, and that's exactly what we're doing. So I called the market long today. I went long to queues. You could have gone long to queues in the SPY. I called both. SPY had a bigger stop but a bigger target. So 198, 199, where's the next blow area? Right here, right, he well, no, there's an area before here, hold on, here, 199-ish, 200, 201, 201, 202-ish. I mean, every, every number here is gonna be another number that stops out shorts. And I also did a lecture last week where I talked about the 200 pair moving average and how it's gonna come down as the market lifts up and all of that's happening here and then it's gonna start to flatten. And so you see this in here, it came down the last two days and then, then now it's coming up and it's starting, it's gonna start to flatten here. It's gonna start to flatten out. Like watch this line, as you see it transpiring. But this is, this was an amazing call. And I, I put it out in an email to buy spy options two weeks ago or whatever I sent that email out. You could have gotten them for two cents. Two cents, two cents. That's 0 .02, as in two pennies. You know, this is an amazing call. Call of a lifetime here, spot on with it. We had to do it today though. I'll tell you, if we had gapped down today, this all would have been looking completely different, but we didn't, we didn't, why? Because the buying came in. The buying came in, I knew it would eventually. I knew it would soon. And we're gonna rally now all week. So I have no idea where we actually close today. We will stay strong all day. If we pull back today, buy. We may not pull back today. I mean, this was another buy point in here. Any pullback today could be bought in the market. You got four hours left. Buy strong stocks, buy the market. This is a time to go long, strong stocks for long-term swing trades and core trades. This is a this is a this was a great call by me. And almost an impossible call because no one else saw it but me. Not just in the overall picture here, since we've been acting like this the last two months, but I saw it last year and I saw it then this year, even though we dropped and everyone said and screamed short, and then even I saw it today in the gap in the morning. I mean, how do I how am I able to predict these things? Because I'm able to predict how something will move in price action based on the gap, whether it's a bullish gap or a bearish gap. It tells me where the institutional money will take hold of a stock or the market. And that's how I'm able to predict these things so well, to predict that this would not follow through because this was a bearish gap, to predict that this is gonna follow through, which is a bullish gap. I mean, just amazing. So good job, everyone who did the spy option. Good job, everyone who went long with me today in the market. Look for follow through. I don't know where we close tonight. I can do a review later or tomorrow. But congratulations to everyone that's in this. You're, you're up. You're up today. If you bought the SPY options, where I called them back from a couple weeks ago, and this is just going to follow through and start to get going here. So if anyone is interested in my Golden Gap class and learning how to analyze gaps and predict stock moves win gaps, because I'm convinced more than ever it's the only way to actually accurately trade. Here we go. Look at this. We're going to go over 198. It's just nonstop. Nonstop rallying the market today. Beautiful call. Saw it at 5 a.m. 5 a.m. I saw it. And we didn't get going until, let me just see here. Hold on. So I said, what time did we set the long? Uh, 
Oh, I, I said 9.45. 9.45, we, I think we said it by 9.45 in the queue. It was 9.47. I said, we said we got to set the load by 9.45 today. I did say that. It wasn't 10 o'clock. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, have a great day, everyone. The Golden Gap class is this weekend, March 5th and March 7th. If you want to do the class, the deadline to sign up is Friday for the class, but the deadline for the special is today, today at midnight. And it's a great deal. So email me if you want to sign up for the papers. My email is melissa at thestockswoosh.com. And have a fantastic day, everyone.